Whoa. Whoa. So I come in like I'm dealing with a rattlesnake. I just come in. I don't want to interfere with their head so I don't touch the head. Whoa. I'm just trying to support her. Hi folks. This is part two with Jason Carter in teaching your dog to be steady. A, a broke dog. And in this episode, why we're going to see actual dog work on birds uh, from a dog that's just a, a just learning and then more a more finished dog. And also Blaine Carter, Jason's father, is going to join us in this episode. Enjoy. All right. So now we have we have the woe uh, on the table. We have uh, woe on the ground. Um, there's a lot of woe work we do in between. Um, I'm not going to hit all of it, but at least if we give you some tools today that you can take back and use, fantastic. Uh, there's more than one way of doing steadiness. Um, we are definitely not the only way, um, but if, if you like what you see, fantastic, use it. Okay, so what we're going to go into here is she's been pointing okay this week. Um, we've done a lot going into this, so she, she is just starting to trust me. So I don't want to steal that trust when she goes on point. She may creep in a little bit. I'll use the long lead to um, get her in on the bird, but she's ready for distractionary work, which is um, me firing a shot after the bird is released and me dealing with that. Okay, so we'll go into that and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. All right, so her attitude's great. She's very excited. She, she obviously wants to do this, so, so um, this is the perfect setup for her to go out there. Ready? But I'm not gonna let her run right to the bird. I'm gonna make sure she's working um, before I get to the bird to make sure her emotions are where they need to be and where her priorities are. Okay, hunting for me, not for herself, okay? Up front, leave it, good girl. Up front, let's go. Up front, good girl. If, they, if she wasn't handling right now, I'd get to that lead and I'd make sure she handles. I might do that anyhow, just to make sure she's a little more connected to me. Ready, up front, good girl. Come around, leave it, come around. Good girl, yeah, good girl. Good girl. Okay, the wind is coming directly up the field this way. Um, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to run her directly into the scent. Um, it kind of, they kind of snowball and, and a lot of times end in a takeout. It's better to come cross scent where they'll hook and pretzel into the scent. So I'm gonna either swing up right or left depending on what she does here. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells, Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, take on the nuisance of foot odor. Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodenstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Let's go, up front. Good girl. Leave it, come. So it looks like she already got sent, which is about 50 yards. Come around. So she's starting to anticipate. Okay, so I'm not gonna give her any clues. I'm gonna let her, she's using her brain, not her nose. So I'm gonna make her work this out. I'm not gonna walk her into it. Come on, let's go, what you got? Otherwise I could end up with some false pointing like that. Come on, let's go. Come on, what you got? What you got, come on. I'm pretty sure she has sent at this point but there's not a bird there. So she, I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna really give it a whole lot of attention. I wanna make her work up ahead. What you got, come on.
Okay, she's got the bird. Nice distance. Whoa. Whoa. So I'm going to just connect with her a little bit. Whoa. When dealing with a pointing dog, if you got out ahead of her a little bit and look at her face, you're going to see some emotions that are going to happen when I'm handling her. So I'm going to play those emotions. I'll tell you what I'm seeing as I do it. Whoa. Whoa. So I come in like I'm dealing with a rattlesnake. I just come in. I don't want to interfere with her head, so I don't touch the head. Whoa. I'm just trying to support her. Now, in our hunting, we need to get ahead of her. And on new, new dogs and steadiness, if I stepped ahead of her, you may see her take a step. I'm going to correct that because that will lead into crashing and it leads into a competitive relationship between her and I. So I want to connect with her. It's called letting me in. Whoa. Whoa. Some dogs get pretty squirrely when they get touched, but she's had enough training at this point to handle it. Whoa. 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 Okay, so the bird's head's up. Chances are she's going to do a little bit of running. Whoa. She's doing a pretty good job. Um, I've had, I have enough verbal control at this point that I can handle her and the bird. If I couldn't, I would need a second, second person or a poster to make sure that she couldn't break here. Whoa. 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 So I'm going to test some things. I'm going to see, see what, where she's at. Whoa. 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 Okay, she's doing great. She's come a long way since Monday. Whoa. Whoa, I'm very happy. So I don't wanna, just wanna connect her one more time. I'm gonna flush the bird, fire a shot, and see how she handles it. Whoa. I haven't offended her whatsoever. Whoa. She's doing great. Whoa, very pleased. Whoa. Whoa. So when flushing the bird, on a young dog like this, I'll try to flush away. As she gets better, I'll start running them. This bird may run anyhow. Um, and I'll start uh, having, trying to walk the, the bird closer to her and add those types of distractions as their steadiness gets stronger. Um, multiple birds is another distraction we can do. Uh, wild flushes coming across. Um, all the things that get her um, to be able to tolerate uh, any type of scenario you may find in hunting. Whoa. So I don't want to prolong this much longer. She's doing really well. So I'm going to fly this way because I think she's ready for a little more enticement. Whoa. 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 Ah, 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 ah. Whoa. Whoa. So the bird landed just out ahead of her. It was a little more than she could handle. A short break for our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more training with Jason Carter. Hi, folks. Our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high performance dog food. My choice is Native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low value, hard to digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat. It has only high grade chicken and high grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy and so will you. Hi, Bird Dogs and Field viewers. I'm here today with Dylan, who's almost 10 years old and still hunting hard. 
So in order to help him, we use Canine Active. It's for working and hunting breeds, and it is my go-to for pain relief and for an anti-inflammatory. You can use it before strenuous activity to help keep them moving and help reduce muscle soreness, or you can use it after for recovery. Try it today, Canine Active. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can go out ahead if you want to go out ahead and get a visual. Whoa. So I'm going to go around. So what we're going to do right here is um, she broke on, on the flush. So we're going to try to get another flush, another run. Bird's probably in enough cover. It's just going to run, which is fine. That's an enticing enough for her. And what I'm going to do, if she takes a step, is I'm going to give her a leash correction. If she takes a hop, I'm picking her up and moving her back to where she was. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, whoa. So she took a step. I just want to connect with her and let her know she's not supposed to move. So I'm just going to pick her up. Whoa. So hopefully solidify your feet some. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to add a little distraction. Blaine's going to go in, and he's going to watch her. And depending on what she does, will determine how much of the flushing process we get through today. Whoa. Whoa. All right, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, so he's really gonna really test her here. It gives me a chance to, to really try to steady her up here. Now, hold on a second. With a young dog that's 10 months old going into a uh, natural ability test, um, we don't need a whole lot of steadiness. Um, too much pressure around steadiness can be an issue, and that's part of her issue. Um, so if she does break, I'm not going over the top. I'm not giving her a super harsh correction with this. It's just gonna, I'm just going to hold her back and just reinstill her the importance of wall. And it's not, I'm not going to, hopefully I'm not going to depress her, her, her pointing. Whoa. Whoa. And if she's still and she's good, I'll fire a shot. Whoa. And she's been really patient. This has gone on a lot longer than normal, but this is good. Oh, this is really testing her here. Whoa, perfect. Okay, she's about to break. If you look at her, she's she's getting, ah, whoa. So I want to instill in her not to break. Steadiness is all about reading your dog. Whoa, whoa. Haven't hurt her feelings. Whoa, she's about to get a blind spot. So she's going to want to move. Whoa. Ah, whoa, whoa. Whoa, brings up another good point. Whoa, in your, whoa. It's a little too much for her. We don't need a flush now. Uh, she, this is where she's at, which is perfect. I got great attitude. Ah, whoa, losing patience. But when you're in your flushing process, if you cut in front of your dog, as soon as that bird went out of sight or is going out of sight, her emotions took over, okay? And she's not handling it well. It's part of the process. So be careful not to cut uh, in front of your dog when you're doing the steadiness, okay? Because you blocking the view of the bird will cause the dog to come off point like you saw right then. Whoa! So I'm going to pick her up and call this a day. She's done more than I wanted her to do. She's done fantastic. Good girl! Oh, good girl! Oh, good girl! Good girl! Okay, the last, the last part of this process huh, is the most important part. Everyone thinks they're done here. No, nope. I got to get her to leave the thing she wants more than life itself. So I'm going to tell her, leave it, huh? leave it. And, I, and I'm not going to make the decision for her. I'm going to allow her to make the decision. Leave it, huh? leave it. Good girl, oh, good girl, huh? leave it. Come, good girl. Okay, and right here, you watch her, this is called a delay chase. She's just looking, huh? leave it. She's looking to get another angle at it, okay? Good girl. Okay, very good.
If she would have been able to hold that in that process, I would have fired a shot, but she wasn't able to hold it. So, so this is just where she's at in her training. All right, another uh, one, one more thing I wanted to bring up um, in your training, and this is from day one, from the time you get them right out of the box to um, their last day of training, is always finish your training when they want more. If you look, she just wants more and more and more. So when I come back, this is where I start. Desire for the game, wanting to, because for pointing, as pointing goes, this type of desire is what you get those hard, staunch points on. When, when in her obedience process, that was stolen from her, the desire to work, okay? And so she wants this. We got to end right here, right now, because we got everything we wanted, and she wants more, okay? All right. All right, so this is Fergie. Um, how old is Fergie? Three. Three. Um, Fergie's been hunting across the country, pretty experienced dog. Um, he's into summer maintenance right now, trying to get her. It's probably been a while. It's, it's, uh, we're just getting into spring here in Maine, so yep. we'll, we'll deal with what we see uh, as far as steadiness goes. Yeah. Um, if you could anticipate anything, what would that be with her? Well, right now with this bird, we're doing a relocation more than we're doing a point, a, find, a search and find. Right. This bird's been liberated. Now she's got to she, go find it. She knows exactly where it is right now. So I'm expecting, I'm hoping that she points, but I'm expecting her, she, she liable to break. Okay. And one of the things I did before I get started is I've set my parameters on my collar. If I, you know, for some people they have, uh, presets on their collars, so it, the, the more, the more, they, the more they anticipate the problem and be ready for it, the better they'll be with the collar. The second thing is, I'm going. My woe command is going to be very important. <laughs> I think so. I, yeah. So I've, I, I'm expecting her to break. So I've got my collar set, and if she goes to take the step, just like you did, the collar now is the long lead. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to use it exactly the same way if I was using a long lead right now. Now, being as excited as she is, would you do a little preliminary handling before you hit that bird? Or you just want to see exactly where she's at and I, we'll just I, run it like it is? I, I might hit her with a come around because I got a feeling she's going to go a little long and she's going to be out of my view. Yeah. So I need to see. Right. So you're so going to keep her connected. In, in, a, in a perfect world, I would want that bird in a location where I could see the whole action. Right, for shooting reasons, for, for, but you know, this is a main, this is a main cover. Yep. You know, this is what we hunt in. Yeah, this is so it. this, so you'll, you'll, you'll have to deal with what you get. Okay, we'll find out what we got. <laughs> All right. A short break for our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with more training with Jason Carter. Hi folks, Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting or competitive clay shooting or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high-performance shotguns. The new 40E field-grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. She's using her head. If you look at her head, she doesn't have it. She thinks she knows where it is, and now she's going to be using her nose. I think she's tracking it at this point. I see the bird right ahead of her. All right, so if we could flush it right in the opening away. I'm not going to lower. You're going to correct her. I want, I want to correct the action. I don't want to be part of the action. I want her to make the mistake, and then I'm going to correct it. And if my call is set right, you should see it.
Nice job. Perfect. Was she clean all the way through? Yeah. Now on the pickup, you beeped her. Yeah. What was that all about? Well, I just, I wanted, she comes on the beep. Yeah. And I didn't want to hit her for the. So if you would have went to electricity, that would have been more of a correction than you needed. I didn't want it. You just want her. her attention. So I use, I just use the locator to get her attention. So let's talk about crunching and munching. Oh, yes. Um, if that's a problem, actually we could set that up. If that became a problem, what I would do is I work on my cum. Yeah. And then I would put the bird out there. And just as the dog grabbed it, I, I stimulate it. And what that does is make now it Now you say stimulate. Now how much stimulation are we talking? Well, the, every dog's different. You, you, this is just why enough for you, the emotion. This is why you do, when you're overlaying, you set your collars and you know what the intensity is. Enough to get the action, but not so much it takes them out of the action. Yep, gotcha. Important. Good point. Okay, so, so you want to put the bird back out? Yeah, we'll set it up. Here. All right. Fergie, let's see. I'll show you the stimulus. I got a feeling she's fired up. Here, sit. Now, whoa. What we'll do is just drop the bird out there. Yeah. Do you want a shot? You don't want a shot and retrieve? No, just, okay. drop it. just throw it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch her mouth. And if I see her going in for a re grab or going for a stronger grab, I'm going to give her a nip. i got to drop my weight just to here. Sit. Apparently that wasn't the right bird. That was a live bird, by the way. This is the one you wanted, right? Oh, okay. Is that the blooper reel? Yeah. You're going to have a blooper reel? That would be it. That's a little long for that retrieve, isn't it? It is a DK, right? You got that retrieve. I probably could get it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm glad we got that on film. You want to try this again? All right. Let's try this one. This one will work. Now, if she, if she taking her time, re-grabs, starts looking like she's playing, I'm going to give her a come command and a neck on this collar. Fetch. Okay, the wind's at her back. So she would have to get left of the bird to get sent. There she goes. Okay, so there's the pickup. You know, birds that are moving in the mouth sometimes are difficult. She handled it nicely. Do you see when she grabbed it? I nicked her. You did nick her on the pickup. Ah, I'm nicking her again right there. You quiet. Because I want to slow this down. Now, if she was really munching and crunching, is there something else you would use? Oh, yeah. I do recall, recall, recall. So you'd go back, make the picture small, kitchen work, basement, yard work, Come. get it all cleaned up. Well, everyone wants to make it a forced train. I start hammering the ear. I start hammering the ear like a forced training. All I'm doing is building anxiety. Let's just clear it up. Make it a come issue. Yeah. You understand the holder. Let's just just come with me. Just 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 do this. Just get where you belong. And what happens is that drops that anxiety, that overexcitedness. That oh, that's my bird. I gotta have it. No, I gotta get back to boss. And sometimes we use woe to freeze them. Uh, yeah, especially when they're when they're yeah. Good point. When they really get, yeah, let me have that for you. Right? And your hand posture. I, whoa. Whoa. Perfect. So, manners on game, okay? That's a training session in itself. Um, giving the dog some time with it. When we're done this scenario, a lot of times what I do is I'll put the bird right back in the dog's mouth. We'll give her some extra time with it, some play time with it, so she gets that ownership. So we're not the guy that always takes it away. We're the provider, and you want to be the provider in your training. And manners too, like manners on, on relocation, manners on that. You're a team. This is a team sport. When I say easy, she's not, I'm not depriving her from game. She's actually getting game. 
you know we're a team she trusts me that I when I say it go in there there's something there so we, we've, we've built building manners on game and how we want that game it's part of the steadiness is to work for the gun that's the end game right there the end game is if you are at the very end of your training the dog sees you with a gun starts hunting knows that the game it gets the game because you shoot it because you can harvest game you know, and that brings us full circle in this whole thing is the dog was safe, your gunner was off to the side, you were up in a safe spot, the bird was shot, the dog did not break, and it was dog and you could be safe the whole, through the whole scenario. So I really think that's why we do what we do. Um, not only does it provide more birds for the table, but it also keeps us safe. You know, we're out here about the, for the dogs. We love our dogs. We love hunting, we love the outdoors, but really what it boils down to, and, and for me, when I'm hunting, is seeing my dog work and keeping my buddy safe. This is my best friend. So in this process, um, I, I can't stress enough how important steadiness is um, for, for, for your pleasure, for your hunting experiences. Um, finish your dog, and, and you'll, you'll, you'll thank me a hundred times over for it. Jason, that was fantastic. I want to thank uh, Blaine also for joining us. It was just exactly what we were looking for. I think it's going to help a lot of people. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Anything we could do, you know, to help, help out someone else, just put those tools in the toolbox. You bet. That's exactly what we're here for. Wonderful. All right. Good. <laughs> Hi, folks. Well, that concludes part two of our steadiness training uh, series with Jason Carter. And I want to thank Jason and the entire Carter family for always being willing to, to work with us and film these episodes. I think we've done now probably seven or eight training episodes with the Carter family. They're at the top of their game, so they, they know exactly what they're doing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel Shotguns.